All right, welcome back, my friends. In this video, we're gonna test out if the new rinseless wash by DIY Detail version two is gonna foam. So we'll try it in the foam cannon. So you don't want to miss that. I'm using the MJJC version 3S, which has been really great so far. So for this, we're gonna use my usual dilution, which is one to 10. So the bottle is rinsed. There's no leftover from any other shampoo. So I'm gonna use 500 ml just for the sake of this testing, but this is usually what I do, 500 ml. And one to 10, we're gonna round this up at 50 ml. We're gonna use this as a pre-wash before the actual contact wash. So I know it's not 256 to one, it's not this, it's not that. This is how I foam my car. So we're doing this in the real world fashion, about one to 10, 50 ml of rinseless for 500 ml of plain water. And guys, by the way, I really like this foam cannon just for the fact of this container has a larger mouth and the twist is just a quarter turn instead of going all over with your typical foam cannon. If you're regular to the channel, you know that I use the MTM foam cannon. I received this one from MJJC a couple of months ago. I'm still testing it before giving you my full thoughts, but so far it foams more than the MTM. I still like the way the MTM sounds. All right, so shake it up. We'll go outside and foam it up. All right, guys, so I'm gonna take this opportunity to test out the new version, version two of DIY Rinseless Wash. I'll tell you my thoughts on it, how it works. Is it better? Is it worth upgrading to the new version? Obviously, I recommend that you finish off your first ver your version one if you still have some. It's already pretty good. I've been using it two times. As far as I can tell, it's pretty good. It's definitely slicker. So we'll test it out in a second. So what do we have here so far is a new cap. I don't know if they're gonna go with all their bottles from now. So let me show you the difference between the caps. So this one, the version one, it can crack if you drop it or if you tighten it too tight. And on the right side now, we have the upgraded cap, which is much nicer. There you go. And as you can see, we have the milk appearance. Ivan told me that they have a new polymer in there. Should feel slicker as you drag your sponge. And if I shake this, it's still foaming. So we still have the surfactant in there. When you drop it in your bucket of water, you actually see the blue bubbles, which means that we have surfactant. All right, guys, so and I have four gallons of water in this. So Ivan also mentioned that it should be better to neutralize the minerals. It's not a water softener, but it acts in some capacity to protect your water to not etch in the paint, right? So 16 ounce, uh, 60 milliliters and two ounces for four gallons of water. Still the same scent, right? So let's shake it up. And there's no clumps, there's no chunk in there like some other brands uh, tend to have. I'm gonna use my sponge and close this. Guys, by the way, I'll have the link for all the products mentioned in this video. You can also save 10% using my code DOGMA. And thank you to everyone who has been using the discount codes. So far, I really appreciate you, thank you. So right here, I have my IK uh, sprayer. I'm gonna apply my rinse less. By the way, am I the only one using the wide sprayer instead of the nozzle? I really like this. I actually use both. This one does more of a mist. As I mentioned, I actually pre-rinse the car outside and I wash the wheels off camera, so don't worry, it's been done. I'm a firm believer in the rinseless wash technology, but I still like to pre-rinse my car either with a garden hose or a pressure washer. Even if I have to foam the car with a dedicated pre-wash soap, I'll do that if my car is dirty. And then I pull the car in and we do the contact wash in a rinseless manner, right? So I like the, the pressure washer. It's gonna be much better to, to go in the nooks and crannies and really do a deep clean. All right, my friends, so we're ready. The car is pre-sprayed with the rinseless wash, same dilution. You just dunk your pump sprayer in your gallon and you pick your solution from there, right? You already know the drill.
Yeah, definitely slicker, right? Even better if you have a detail spray, a ceramic spray applied on the last wash, it's gonna be even slicker. Let's try on the glass. Yeah, pretty good. So guys, obviously it's still the same good product that uh, we already love. A little bit slicker, should be better for water spots in a very hard water area. If you have well water at your place, so the cleaning power is still the same good cleaning power. I have not noticed a difference. So guys, uh, the version two is gonna take place of the version one. Obviously, you're gonna eventually end up trying it, I'm sure. So it's pretty much the best rinseless wash out there. There's a reason why so many people love it. Pretty slick on the drying towel. Easy to dry. I'm gonna dry half the window. All right, so let me take you in. Pretty good, streak free. No asshole, no problem. Very easy and pretty economical, right? Only two ounces per wash. Take a last look. Pretty shiny, no problem there. So By the way guys, I'll have a behind the scenes footage on my Instagram account. So I invite you to join me on Instagram at Detailing Dogma. I'll put the link right on the screen right now. And thank you very much for all the support you guys are giving me. So my car is not super dirty, but as you can see, we have some dirt here. So the rinseless wash still rinse clean after dunking your sponge in the bucket. So that's a good news. So that confirms that it's still the same good product that we already use and that it releases the dirt with the sponge in our solution. And guys, when I'm done, I like to use an extra microfiber dunk it in my rinseless solution. And I'll go around the door jams and above the license plate where the sponge doesn't fit really well. You can also use it behind your door handle, although the sponge can do it. That's just my own little trick to clean your door jam afterwards. And guys, if you have some dried out rinseless, obviously it's gonna be super easy to take care of. No worries here. It'll just come off. You can reapply some rinseless if it's baked dry, but dry just like this, guys. Wipe offs to the perfection. I have some more on my pillar. Let me show you. So I'm giving you a close up shot so you, can, can, you guys can judge by yourself. You don't need to take my word for it. Just like we do all the time on this channel, you don't take my word for it. I'll show you how the product works and you guys are old enough to make your own conclusion. The result speaks for themselves. Other than some microfiber lint, there's nothing left. So since it's a rinseless, it can also act as a drying aid. So you don't need an extra drying aid for this. My paint is already pretty slick. Normally I would use a drying aid, but this week I'm in a pinch. I'll just skip this step and dry with the rinse less. No worries here. With a high quality microfiber, it's perfect for this. All right guys, so we're actually gonna test it inside. I'm gonna remove my lens. I'm gonna plug a foam cannon. All right, are you guys ready? So yes, we're actually getting good foam, but obviously since we have protection, it's beating it. But uh, it's not the thickest foam, but if you guys 
have been wondering, yes, it does foam. So I have my foam cannon set at maximum. So obviously this is not a soapy soap, this is a rinseless wash. So I know a lot of guys like their rinseless to foam, but there you go, there you have it. There you go my friend, hope you like it. So guys, I really like the rinseless wash when it's too hot outside or too cold. It's really a nice way to go back in the garage and wash your car without uh, doing another rinse or uh, actually washing the whole car outside. And lastly, like I mentioned, two ounce per wash. Uh, do the math with 120 ounce. Uh, 128 ounces, you get 64 wash for your gallon price, whatever price you pay. I'll mention it again, you can use the code in the description, Dogma, and save 10% at DIYDetail.com. And also you can save some money at Carzilla using the same code. And guys, with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one.